Hey there and welcome back to another DVD video. Today we're in the PTB and since the devs changed how the shop looks, they gave me 6,000 Oryx cells. Unfortunately, the Oryx cells are not for me to keep. When I go back to the regular game, I will not have them. And anything I choose to buy will also not carry over to the main game. But today I will be buying a twin skin because we're going to be playing twins. And I just want to let you know now that this is going to be a longer intro because there is a lot to go over. Also, if I am sounding different today, I am kind of losing my voice, which doesn't happen often and I'm not sick but for some reason I am losing it. But yeah, they moved the Shrine of Secrets back out of the shop and gave it its own separate button again, and if I can remember correctly, I feel like that's how it used to be. And it looks really nice now, I can't even lie. Now the big change is the shop. As you can see, there's like a rotating, sliding type of row here where you can like see certain skins, which is pretty cool. And down here, as you can see, there's actually a free gift. I can't remember if it's every week or every day, but either way, this is usually a pretty good thing for a game to have because it encourages players to log on daily or weekly or whatever it is. So my free gift is 300,000 blood points, which is actually really nice. I'm not gonna lie. That's fucking sweet. There's a collections tab, which looks like this. I think this is a really cool thing for them to add where you can actually sort through it by Slipknot or Iron Maiden or whatever it is, you know? It's pretty cool. Then you have a few tabs for bundles, but I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of prefer how the older killers and survivors selection thing looked. I think it looked cooler the way it was on both sides. And another new addition is that they added a mechanic to actually watch a killer's Mori, which I think is really cool. And this is the kind of direction I was waiting for them to go in because it just makes sense for them to have this and maybe start adding mores that you can buy in the future because there's so much potential for other mores and I think people just love to have different mores. I don't know if any of you watching play for honor but it's kind of the same thing as with for honor has like executions that you can buy. I think it's gonna be the same thing. They even changed the way the personalization icons look. But yeah the devs gave me 6,000 temporary oryx cells. It would have been nice if they were permanent I'm not gonna lie. But today I'm gonna buy this skin because I think it looks really pretty and we are going to be playing twins today to try out the new rework. Before I go over what's changed about twins, I want to go over the build first. Today, I'm basically using the same exact build that I used in my twins take no skill video that came out very recently. It's corrupt intervention, pop goes the weasel, infectious fright, and deadlock. For my add-ons, I've got Toy Sword and Weighty Rattle. Now let's take a look at the Twins rework because there are a lot of changes. Victor's Pounce no longer latches onto healthy survivors. Victor can no longer be kicked after successful pounce attacks which do not latch onto a survivor. Victor's Pounce now latches onto survivors when they are put into the dying state. While Victor is attached, the survivor cannot return to the injured state. Other survivors can crush Victor during this time to help the dying survivor. Victor automatically returns to Charlotte after 20 seconds. While Victor is attached to a survivor or holding a survivor in a locker, Charlotte gains a 10% haste effect. This bonus is lost when hitting a survivor. The visual terror radius accessibility setting will now include Victor's grunts. I don't use that, but that's pretty cool for people that do. Victor will now glow red whenever he is vulnerable to being crushed and white when is not vulnerable to being crushed. Added the ability to recall Victor at any point while he is unbound. Added the ability to switch between Victor and Charlotte near a hooked survivor at a slower rate, added a new icon to represent the moment when Victor can be recalled, Victor no longer reveals survivors with killer instinct while he is latched on, decreased the time it takes to switch back to Charlotte to 1.5 seconds was 3 seconds, decreased the time it takes to unbind Victor to 0.75 seconds was 1 second, decreased the time it takes to charge Victor's pounce to 0.85 seconds was 1 second, increased the cooldown for Victor to come back after being crushed to 10 seconds was 6 seconds. I don't even remember what I read. I literally have to go back and study these patch notes like it's for a test. Now, I wouldn't say I'm going into this completely blind. The DBD Twitter community absolutely exploded today about how overpowered this change for twins is. Twins is like the best killer in the game now and all that. And I know the devs are trying to steer the twins away from being a slugging type of killer, but respectfully, some of these changes just make absolutely no sense. People are still gonna slug using the 10% speed boost on charlotte after you down somebody with the victor it's as simple as that but hey i haven't tried new twins yet so i'm not gonna hate i hope you enjoy the video all right i've arrived at the game hey there what's up yui oh we're all over here i'm not sure who i should go for oh how did i miss that i'm on the pallet I'm dead. Brilliant start. Okay, Yui DC'd. I'm not sure why. What's up, Yui bot? Oh, she didn't even vault. 
All right, let's try to actually get a down with Victor, and we can see what it's like. So now he latches on to downed survivors. So now he's down here, and he just kind of sits with you. All right, that's cool. And I'm much faster. I can feel that. I can see that. I am way faster. I am zooming. Holy shit. Whoa, okay. That vault was kind of weird. Someone's in here. What's up, Yui? Alright, I'm gonna actually pick her up this time. I'm so fast. What's up, Yui? Alright, we're going back to Charlotte. What's up, dudes? All right. Oh boy, jeez. Jesus, what a play! Like that is one of the strongest pallets on this entire map, and she fucked it up. And Michaela DC'd. And Lori, I guess, thought she could get a pallet save there. This is a absolute disaster game for them. Lori, what are you? St <laughs> what are you still doing here? What a waste of a perfect pallet. All right. So we don't actually latch on, so we can just keep chasing. Yeah, this just seems way too strong. Uh, well, I missed. It would have been way too strong if I actually hit that. But the fact that you can just follow up that quickly with Victor, of all things... I don't know, man. I could be wrong, but that just seems like a blatant thing to miss as a dev. Alright, nice drop. Alright, you're in trouble here, Yui bots. Jump in the locker. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going. We should be able to down her pretty quickly. That's so busted. Oh my god. I would genuinely hate to go against that as a survivor. Like, I would absolutely despise that. Oh, they got it done. I was gonna put pop on that. I've got a lot of pressure here. Jesus. Oh my god. We both were waiting for each other to make a move. What's up, Yui? Why am I so slow? Who programmed that bot? I need to know. Alright, she's dead. Oh, I see you. I see you. I can't lunge at you currently, but yeah, just keep running into the corner. Thank you. Not sure what the idea was there. This is going to be a very quick down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, I can't even lie. These guys on Twitter saying Twins is like the new strongest killer in the game. They're not far off, if you ask me. They're not far off. What is that? Oh, Decisive. Yeah, apparently Decisive is pretty broken right now, too. You can just drop somebody before they actually hit their Decisive. Get shit on. I see somebody. Where are you going? Oh man, this gen's almost done back here. I really would like to hit this with pop. Alright, some beautiful pop. I see some scratch marks. Someone's here. Alright. A good first hit. Beautiful. It's so weird on the game whenever you hit like a victor uh, down and you can like see through the floor. Up you go. Oh, I see her. One sec, Michaela. I'll be right back. I just gotta go around here. I hit that and then she doesn't drop it. That's shocking. Like, this is a bot. This is a bot programmed. Alright, well played. You got aimbot. This is a bot programmed by the devs. Like, what is this bot? Like, I don't even... Like, isn't she programmed to run away from Victor? Apparently, she's programmed to walk away from Victor, which isn't very effective. GG. The Cold Wind Farm. Oh, I see somebody. Looks like a Nia. Where did she go? Oh, she's right here. That's not Nia, that's a Meg. 
Yeah. She's trapped. Let's go get her. How long does he trap her for? Long enough for me to do that. Beautiful. And she should get basement, right? Basement's in here. Beautiful. And Steve is down here. Can I hit you? Thank you. See you later, Steve. A man without a plan. Hello, guys. I see Steve. Oh, I was hoping he'd vault into that. Oh, what a shame. Oh, he's going for it. You're not getting that. Not unless I miss. Which I did not. Because I never miss. Stop the cap. Oh, someone's here. She probably could have got a flashlight save on me. Hey, this works for me. This is a lot of pressure on them. You can go mend. Yeah, you go mend. Oh, she's back here. Meg. Come on, kill me. Oh, he decided against it. That was probably a wise choice. Oh, wait, somebody got the basement save. And you didn't drop that pallet in time. Nice, you can go mend. I guess I'll pick up Steve. Alright, they saved Meg. I see you. Oh, she's not going for it. Oh, I bounced off the, the things, the bags. Oh, I hit that. Beautiful, beautiful. And she's gonna go for the trade. Alright, he kicked my little Victor. I'll just wait for his borrow to run out, I guess. Alright, it should be out by now. Oh, she got her up. Alright, this is uh, pretty cool. Alright, she picked up Steve. Oh, they all picked up Steve. We got the whole team here. I definitely could slug this and easily win the game, but I'm just gonna... I'll play nice. There's no reason to slug at four gens. That's just mean. Yikes. Oh. What's up, Meg? <laughs> no way, you're teabagging men without a plan. Oh, you teabag and then you play like that? That's your next move? He is dead. Alright, I'll put Pop on this. I see somebody back here. Oh shit. She's coming. You're not getting that. Nice, nice. I don't know what the plan was there, but nice try. Beautiful. What a waste of a pallet. Alright, I should be able to down her here. Wait, no. Oh no, she got Nia up. I'm so confused. Alright, I'm just gonna go back and pick up the girl. Oh, they got her up. What? In Tarnate? What was the move? What was the idea? Yeah, I knew you were there. Someone DC'd. Two people DC'd. I believe this game is over. Lampkin Lane. They actually changed this map quite a bit. I didn't read over it in the intro because I didn't want the intro to be too long. Like, they've removed houses entirely. It's looking pretty different, all right? It's looking, uh, smaller. What's up, Dwight? Oh, Jesus. Well played. Well played. Oh, shit. What were you doing? I, I fucking took my hand off my mouse for a sec. Oh, this is new. Oh, main building is... Wow, they completely changed it. And I'm ass, I'm ass, I'm ass. Oh my god. What a horrible mistake. I think she's on Xbox, because I'm pretty sure it's the same button to hop in a locker as it is to kick Victor. I think that was just user error, to be honest. Alright, they got their first gen done. They're working this one quite a bit, too. I see somebody. It's Dwight again. Oh, I got you. 
Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. What a play. They can heal up or whatever. Because I know Dwight's here. They're working this gen. They've got another person here. Look how fast I am. I'm so fast. Oh, she's going for the pickup. She can't though, because the victor. <laughs> what the f <laughs> What is happening? What is actually happening? I feel like I've taken crazy pills or something. Nice flashlight save. I can't even be mad about that. Put some pop on this. Oh shit. Nah, you're not getting to me. Oh, now, now you might get me. Alright. Well played. I see somebody. She's gonna get this. Let me just pull Victor out. Maybe we'll go for another five second chase. Wow, not like that. Not like that. What was I thinking? What are you doing sitting by me again? What is she... Wow, oh, this Nia is on some shit. Yo, I gotta get on whatever she's on, because this shit's crazy. It's so weird. Wait. Oh, decisive. She wanted me to down her so she could use decisive. It's so weird seeing lockers there. Let's go for a quick victor down. Yep, you're not fooling me. How did that miss? There we go. They're rushing this gen. They get it. That's fine. Ice cream, so good. Oh, she's running right into me. I have a hunch that this one has decisive too. So I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to drop her before she can use the decisive. I wanna test that out. Alright. I don't, I don't know if she actually like, had it, but... She did! Look! In the top right! That's crazy! She just got robbed. That's insane. Alright. Somehow that hits her still. I'm not even trying to tunnel her. I don't know what she's still doing here. I was looking for Hattie. What's up, Dwight? Oh, you're right here. Oh my god. Come here, Dwight. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh! Lucky me, I guess. Yeah, he's kind of doomed there. I'm so fast. Someone's working this. Oh no, 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 no. No, I'm good. Oh, come on. She does not know that she can kick me. Bro. It's about time. I am so ass. Can I do that on the stairs? I'm not going to try it. Oh, trying to take a hit. Actually, wait. No, no, no. I probably should have hit Hattie, right? Oh, we're all up here. The entire team's up here. Kind of a 50-50. Alright, so Dwight's there. I'm just going to pick her up before she gets under the pallet. That was close. Oh, someone got the save already. That's Dwight. That was quick, Dwight. Alright. I think I've got the game in the bag now, despite all my very bad aim. Someone's back here. What are you doing? And then maybe I can cut Nia off as Charlotte. I hear her. Yeah. 
It's gonna have to be a trade. Uh, she's not going for it. This is gonna be game over, I think. This is a pretty cool palette. Too bad you didn't get to use it. I don't know. I'll give my full opinions in the outro, but this does not feel anti-slugging at all. This feels like the same, if not more, slugging than how Twins was before. You know, granted, Twins wasn't too bad of a killer before, but now Twins is, like, really fucking strong. I would say a nerf is necessary before this comes to the full game. That's about it for this video. I'll try to make the outro short because the intro is so long, but in my humble opinion, the Twins rework cannot release like this. No way. Coming from the perspective of both a survivor player and a killer player, as survivor, I would never want to go against this at all. This is just like way too broken. And as for killer, I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's fun as fuck playing Victor and downing people in like five seconds, but it's way too easy. I want to say they had some kind of the right idea here, but I have no... I, like. I I actually have no idea what they were thinking. If the idea was to buff twins, then they succeeded, maybe a little too much. But no, the idea was to reduce slugging, and I don't see how this does that at all. But yeah, that's my current take on the twins rework after playing three games with it. I am curious what you think though, so do let me know in the comments so I can check that out. I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like to help me grow my audience. But yeah, that's about it. Have a great night. Must have been to 11 when the world ended. At least it felt like it at the time. Teenage years make a heartbreak worse. Plus a lot was going on. Couldn't stop it at the time. Dad tried to flip the house. Funny that it all ended upside down. Known for being optimistic. Started feeling different. Couldn't fix it. Started writing lyrics all because...